y'all. Welcome to date night. Randy and I finally get to go out on a date. Where we live, things are finally starting to open back up. And tonight is the first night that our favorite restaurant is going to be open. Now, we've been out to eat. We did go get some Mexican. And then we actually went to Cracker Barrel last night. But tonight, we've got queued up. We're feeling all good. And we are going for the best burgers and beer in town. So, I have spent my afternoon getting ready for this date. I took a shower. I washed my hair. I have on makeup. I have on jewelry. I have on a new outfit. And I got my new purse. So, we are going on date night. And we thought you might like to come along. Y'all, I know I look horrible, and I feel like I have looked like this for the past four months. And now I'm getting ready to jump in the shower. I'm gonna fix my hair. I'm gonna put on some makeup, some jewelry. I'm not decided exactly what I'm gonna wear. The weather is a little weird. It's hot, but it's raining. So I'm undecided. I need your help on that. I'm gonna do my nails. I'm gonna put on just a cute little outfit, and we're gonna go to dinner. So when y'all have date night or like a special event, do you do something different to your hair than what you normally do? I don't really have that luxury with the curly hair that I have. It is what it is. So it's just really a question of, do I want it down? Do I want to pull it back in a headband, a barrette? Not a ponytail for sure. Um, but I have to fix it the same way. Let's dry it. Whew, hair is almost dry. I don't know, it's about 80% dry. It's gonna go with it. Y'all see how gray I am? Look at that. Okay. So I'm gonna do my nails, y'all. Should I do hot or not? Or rose? Brocade. Let's give this one a try. It is pouring down rain. Exactly what I feared is happening. It is raining cats and dogs. And speaking of dogs, Maxie and Pollux are both scared to death of thunderstorms. So I'm in the living room, which is where I paint my toenails and my fingernails. I don't know why. I just, I just have an easy spot to do it. But let me show you where the dogs are hiding. Pollux, are you scared, boo? Come here. It's okay, buddy. This is where Pollux hides behind the chair when he's scared of thunderstorms. Maxie is in the bathroom. Moo, is this where you're hiding in the thunderstorm? Is it okay, Mooey? It's okay. It's okay. You're in your little bed. You're feeling all safe in here. Oh, here come Pollux. Okay. I'll turn the light out, Maxer. That's where he stays when it's thunderstorming. You came out, Pollux? Come on. So this is my get up. When I do my toenails, I like to sit right here. For some reason, this is just the perfect spot. So I got my drink, all my nail stuff, and I can put my feet in there and sit on the step and it's perfect. So while I'm waiting on my hair to dry, I'm gonna paint my nails. And I chose Rose Brocade. It's a shellac color and I shellac my own nails at home. And I just took off the polish I had earlier this week. And so I'm gonna do my toenails and my fingernails for date night. So I love any shade of red. And I think this is gonna look really good with either of the outfits. I still haven't decided because it is pouring down rain. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but this color will look good with either one. So 
date night preparations are not going so well. I got my toenails done, but when it came to the very final step that is critical, you must do it in order for your shellac to stay put and to cure, alcohol's empty. My daughters have used the alcohol doing their nails and put a completely empty bottle back in the cabinet. So I sat there and did my nails and reached for the alcohol and it's empty. My nails, my toenails are not cured, which is not cool. So that means I cannot do my fingernails. And tonight while Randy and I are out having dinner, we have to stop by the grocery so I can get some alcohol and cure my toenails. This is not going my way, y'all. It is pouring down rain. Maxie and Pollux are scared to death. My toenails look a hot mess. I cannot do my fingernails. And I just took the trash out and the trash leaked all over the kitchen, all over my bare feet, all over my toenails that I just painted because apparently there was a little pinhole in the bottom of the trash can and somebody put liquid in it. So I had to take it outside to the trash can in the rain. So here I am. I'm gonna try to just plow forward and get my makeup on. Randy's gonna be home any minute. I have been, I don't know, I've just been slow moving today. I should be dressed and ready at this point, but clearly I'm not. But let's get some makeup on. I wanna get this done before he gets home. So I don't want to put on lipstick till I've decided on my outfit. So I guess it's time to do that because it's, Randy's going to be home any minute. So let's head into my closet. Y'all can help me decide what to wear. So it is definitely, ooh, ooh, bad light, bad, bad, bad closet light. <laughs> but it is definitely cooled off since the rain has gone through and these were my two options. Option number one, y'all probably saw where I got this in another video. It's just a little sleeveless one piece romper like jumpsuit, kind of wide leg, which is super cute. And the other option is something I got new. I haven't worn it yet. It is just this really thin little t-shirt. And I found, look how cute that little necklace is. I got it at a some little boutique in Nashville. Um, but I was just going to wear that with white shorts. And I think I might freeze in shorts. And I don't have any white pants. I don't really want to wear white pants tonight. So, hmm, it might be the little jumper, y'all. Pollux, is it still raining, boo? I'm sorry, buddy. I know you don't like the thunderstorms. So I'm dressed and ready, and the last thing I need is my lipstick. But I'm gonna wear a red lipstick today. I just, it's date night, y'all. And it was going to match my fingernails, which now I don't have fingernails. Whatever. <laughs> y'all, it's not red red, but it's red for me. Good enough for me. This is my color. So it's a pinky red. I like a pinky red. I've never been one to actually wear 
a bright, bright red. I'm scared to death of that. I don't know, maybe I'll try it one day. And now I'm gonna put on my favorite lip gloss. It looks really red in the tube, but it's just kind of like a tinted red. Can y'all hear Pollock's panting? He's at my feet. It is still storming. He's scared to death. He's followed me everywhere I've gone today, and he's literally at my feet in the bathroom floor panting. Pollux, are you okay, buddy? He's scared. I feel bad leaving him, too. I'm dressed. I'm ready. I have on my little jumper. I have on some cute little jewelry. I've got my red lipstick on. My toenails are painted. And Randy's home. He's waiting for me in the next room. It is chilly, so I'm going to take a little denim jacket. So if we get inside, I just feel like my shoulders are going to get cold. So I'm going to be prepared. But the last thing I want to show you is something super special. I was contacted a couple weeks ago by a handbag company called Teddy Blake. They make the most luxurious and beautiful handbags and they offered to send me one. So of course, I wasn't going to turn them down. So they told me to go on the website and choose the bag of my choice and y'all, I certainly did. And it has arrived and I'm going to unbox it for you and I'm going to take it on my date night. If you ladies have never heard of Teddy Blake, you need to check out their website. Right now, Teddy Blake is having their summer sale because I am not one that typically spends a lot of money on a handbag. So if you are looking for a luxurious handbag but don't really want to pay the price for that luxurious handbag, now is the time to get your Teddy Blake. So let me show you mine because I'm so excited to actually take it out of the house tonight. So I think you're going to be surprised at the color Teddy Blake that I chose. Are you ready? picked the red Teddy Blake. I just thought it was so cool and just that pop of color that I always want. This bag is beautiful and y'all, when you get this out of the box the first time, see it opens up like this, the smell of the leather. Oh my gosh, it is like, you know the smell when you get a new car, you just cannot get over the new car smell. Well, this is a new purse smell. It smells so good. I cannot wait to take this out tonight. It is just luxury, y'all. It's, it's something, honestly, that I would never spend money on for myself, but the fact that Teddy Blake is having their big summer sale makes this purse definitely in the price range of something that I would do. If it was my birthday or Randy wanted to give me a gift or I wanted to splurge on something for myself because I know this handbag is made with high quality. It is gonna be around for a very long time. It's not one of those bags that you spend money for in a couple months. The strap is broke or the buttons are, you know, falling apart. This is a quality handbag. They are made of Italian leather and y'all, these are so beautiful. I chose the Bella Vitello style and it comes in different sizes. So this is the 12 inch bag. I'm pretty petite, I'm 5'2", and it comes much larger and it comes much smaller. And I just thought the 12 inch was perfect for me. I can carry it on my arm. It does have a shoulder strap if I want it. And I'm a gal who loves a pocket. I have to be able to put my lip gloss and my dental floss and all of my loose things in my purse. I can't stand them rattling around in my purse. And so the fact that this style had two pockets for me and the open area was just perfect. And then it snaps, it snaps shut. So I'm gonna take my Teddy Blake to dinner and I think I'm ready. So let's get going. It's date night and Randy is waiting on me in the other room. I'm in the closet, guys. I was going to give you a full-length view in my mirror, but you can't. It's so bad. I can't even show you. But I'm in my little jumper. I've got my denim jacket, and i got my Teddy Blake. They're having their huge summer sale. So go to their website. Check out their bags. They are up to 70% off. Ready? <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, I need my glasses so I can read yeah. the menu, although I know what I get. So we finally made it out of the house on date night. And y'all, we live in the country. We're simple people. And I know date night sounds like we should be super dressed up, but y'all can see what I have on. And Randy has on his favorite t-shirt. That is dressed up to us. So let me tell you where we're going for dinner. 
There is an old Greyhound bus station in Paducah that was converted to a craft brewery. It's called Paducah Beer Works. And it's so cool because when you go inside, you can see all of the things that belonged um, to the Greyhound bus station that they kept. And then they built this brewery around it. So fancy date night to us is a good burger and some craft beer. <laughs> Most of y'all were probably thinking we're going to go out for like Italian or steaks or something like that. No, not us. We are burger and beer kind of people. Uh-oh. What? I'm just watching your driving. Don't worry about my driving. Randy is driving my car. <laughs> so I got to keep an eyeball on him. Got my toenails done. Got my purse. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wreck. Multi car wreck. Uh oh. Oh, that is not good. What is that stuff? It's everything that was in the back of his truck, I guess. Oh. So, since we're just riding in the car, I have a question for you. Randy and I live in a small town. <laughs> Randy and I live in a small town in western Kentucky. It's called Paducah. We have about 65, 70,000 people that live in our town. And anytime I ever show you all things that happen in our town or take you outside of my home, you ask a lot of questions. You're really intrigued by our life in a small town. So I had a video idea and I thought I would run it by you. Would you enjoy seeing a video where I, Randy and I, take you to our favorite little places all around our hometown? Places we like to eat, things we like to do, places we like to shop. Just what do we like to do and kind of show you what small country town life looks like. Sort of like a little visitor's guide to Paducah, Hayden style. Would you enjoy that? Would, you, would that be a video that you would like to see? If so, Leave it in the comments below and let me know because that's something I've been thinking about. Here it is, Paducah Beer Works. Old Greyhound Station. Old Greyhound Bus Station. Well, there's some cars here. Oh my. They have a tent up. Yay. Okay, I know what I want for sure. Okay. I want the smokehouse burger okay. with fries. Fries? Okay, how do you want that cooked? Um, medium well. Medium well, okay. Yes. And just your regular fries, just not the crazy fries, ones. No? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I want the BLT chicken. Okay. With um, no mayo. No mayo with fries? Right. Okay, that and sounds great. Huh? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. How's your blackberry oatmeal? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm drinking my mule. <laughs> it's a blueberry mule, y'all. Fresh blueberry puree from local blueberries. It's got ginger beer and vodka and lime. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, it's really good. Fancy with my Teddy Blake. Ooh. Oh, yeah, man. I got you. No, just make some napkins. That stuff is so good. All right. I'm, thank you. It'll kill you. I mean, it'll flat out kill you. So, this is the Smokehouse Burger. It has bacon and caramelized onions and homemade chipotle peach barbecue sauce. This is the best burger in Paducah. What'd you get? A BLT chicken sandwich? Grilled chicken. Ooh, and a BLT. With a side. Oh, and what? What? Paducah hot chicken. This, this is our idea of date night, y'all. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Now what are we gonna do? <laughs> we gonna get some ice cream. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm tired of ice cream. What do you want? There's no other choice. I guess we have to go get ice cream. I mean, we don't have to, but if you want something. We'll be home by seven o'clock on date night. <laughs> Seriously, is it even seven o'clock? It's seven o'clock. It's six fifty-two. Six fifty-two, and it's date night. We finished eating. Um, so what do you want? What are you gonna do? What kind of ice cream you want? Do you want ice cream? I like ice cream. Good. Go give me a shake. Gonna get a shake. <laughs> Probably is. We could get a cannoli at Michael's. Yeah. Do that. Cannoli at Michael's. Burp, turn off the blinker. <laughs> mm, chocolate chip cannolis. This is how you do dessert in Paducah. Right, babe? Other than my ice cream. <laughs> Other than ice cream. We come to Michael's and get chocolate chip cannolis. Mm. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Randy has gone to the bathroom for like the fifth time on our date. If you follow me on Instagram, I told you all that Randy has a kidney stone. It is not good. And they are giving him this medicine to make him basically pee a lot. So he'll pee it out. So every time we turn around tonight, he has to go to the bathroom. Deer. It was a deer. Deer just ran in front of us. <laughs> Off the creek. Here at Paducah Beer Works. Dessert at Michael's, Michael's Pizza. Pizza Rio. And home by 7 30. before 7 <laughs> We got donkeys to take care of. They're scared. They're not scared now, but. They're hungry. They're hungry. And there's a train. Uh uh. Oh my god, go around it. <sighs> Can't you go around it? No, it, it's not over those railroad tracks, so it'd be coming. There's a train blocking the road. Can't get by. Wait, there's another one coming this way. Is that the same train? Nope. Uh uh. At the end of the train. Yay! Go, Mama, go! Oh, hi, Mooie! Hey, Bugs! Oh. What are you guys seeing? Oh. Come on! Come on! Hi, Bugs! Hey, buddy! <coughs> hey, buddy! Come on in! Come on in! Let's go outside! Let's go party! Come on, let's go party! Come on, Come on Pollux! Go party! Go potty! Pollock's peed. Oh, Maxie peed too. Okay. Here to come. He's coming back. Hey, boo! All right! Are y'all ready for dinner? Are you ready for dinner? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry mommy left you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Moo. Mom left you. Go eat dinner. Yeah, I want your dinner now. Okay, come on. Home at 7.30 p.m. <laughs> How's your dinner, Moo? Pollux, what are you doing in your bed? Are you just hanging out in your bed? Look at all these toys you got. Are you just, oh my goodness. Are you just waiting out of Max? He's eating his dinner. I mean, look at this. 
What you doing, Pollux? What all you got in here? Oh, you got your favorite toys. What's this? This is your birthday bone in here. And then we got the, the rope toy in here. Oh my goodness. And where's your donut? Is your donut in there too? My goodness. It's about your turn, Pollux. Pollux is in his bed. With all his toys. Look with at all his toys. toys. <laughs> He's like in a boat. Oh, here he comes. Is it time for your dinner? No, oh, Pollux. Baxter's got to lick his bow good. Right, Moo? Did you miss his pogs? Hmm. You're wagging your tail at me. You miss me. Oh, oh, oh well. Oh. <laughs> Moo. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening down there? Pogs, what are you doing? <laughs> you see what he's doing with that? Well, thanks for joining me on date night. We're pretty simple folks, y'all. We had a beer, we had a burger, we had cannolis, and we're home by 7.30. There is nowhere that I would rather be than home with my husband and with my dogs. So, I got no problem with being home at 7.30. I miss these two guys. So, I'm going to go in. I'm going to put on my home clothes, my comfy clothes, and I'm going to hang out on the couch. Plenty of snuggles with Maxie and Pollux, and we'll call it a night. So, to me, that is the perfect date night. I'll see you later.